Hi everyone, welcome to English with Shams. In this video, you will learn about negative, simple and WH questions in past continuous tense, their uses, syntax and examples. Past continuous negative simple question. It is an interrogative negative statement and it starts with a contraction. Let's understand the rule or syntax. First, contraction followed by subject, main verb and question mark at the end. Main verb ing form. Contraction wasn't is applicable for singular and weren't is applicable for plural. Let's consider following sentences. First person singular. Wasn't I going to the office? This sentence begins with contraction. Wasn't followed by subject I, main verb, going, and ends with question mark. Similarly, first person plural. Weren't we going to the office? Second person singular. Weren't you going to the office? Second person plural. Weren't you going to the office? Third person singular. Wasn't he going to the office? In this sentence, instead of pronoun he, we can mention the name of the person. Wasn't John going to the office? Wasn't she going to the office? Let's specify her name in place of pronoun she. Wasn't Zara going to the office? Wasn't it going to the forest? If we are referring to an animal, let's say tiger, then the sentence will be Wasn't tiger going to the forest? Third person plural, weren't they going to the office? In place of pronoun they, we can mention the names. Weren't John and Zara going to the office? In the next slide, I will explain another way of making past continuous negative simple question. In this slide, we will discuss rule two for past continuous negative simple question. As per the rule two, sentence begins with helping verb followed by subject, word not, main verb, and question mark. Main verb ing form. Helping verb was is applicable for singular and were is applicable for plural. Let's consider the following sentences. First person singular. Was I not going to the office? This sentence starts with helping verb was, followed by subject I, pessimistic word not, main verb going, and ends with question mark. Similarly, First person plural, were we not going to the office? Second person singular, were you not going to the office? Second person plural, were you not going to the office? Third person singular, was he not going to the office? In this sentence, instead of pronoun he, we can mention the name of the person. Was John not going to the office? Was she not going to the office? Let's specify her name in place of pronoun she. Was Zara not going to the office? Was it not going to the forest? If we are referring to an animal, let's say tiger, then the sentence will be, was tiger not going to the forest? 
third person plural were they not going to the office in place of pronoun they we can mention the names were john and zara not going to the office in the next slide i will compare rule 1 and rule 2 with examples examples of past continuous negative simple question wasn't I drinking five liter of water daily? This sentence starts with contraction. Wasn't followed by subject I, main verb drinking and question mark at the end. Same message can be conveyed by using rule two. Was I not drinking five liter of water daily? If we use full form instead of contraction, then pessimistic word not is placed before the main verb. Similarly, weren't we taking green tea as a medicine? Were we not taking green tea as a medicine? Weren't you exercising then? Were you not exercising then? Wasn't he eating nutritious food for healthy life? Was he not eating nutritious food for healthy life? Wasn't it attacking animals in the forest? Was is not attacking animals in the forest? Weren't they visiting America for business purpose? Were they not visiting America for business purpose? Was John playing football match confidently? Was John not playing football match confidently? Wasn't Zara acting naturally in Hollywood films? Was Zara not acting naturally in Hollywood films? Weren't John and Zara traveling to London? Were John and Zara not traveling to London? Past continuous negative WH question. It is a negative interrogative statement and it starts with interrogative pronoun. Let's understand the rule or syntax. First, question word or phrase. Second, contraction of helping verb and not. Third, subject. Fourth, main verb. And last, question mark. Main verb, ing form. Contraction, wasn't is applicable for singular and Weren't is applicable for plural. Let's consider the following sentences. First person singular, why wasn't I going to the office? As per the syntax, this sentence begins with question word why, followed by contraction of was and not, subject I, main verb going, and question mark at the end. Similarly, first person plural, why weren't we going to the office? Second person singular, why weren't you going to the office? Second person plural, why weren't you going to the office? Third person singular, why wasn't he going to the office. In this sentence, instead of pronoun he, we can mention the name of the person. Why wasn't John going to the office? Why wasn't she going to the office? Let's specify her name in place of pronoun she. Why wasn't Zara going to the office? Why 
wasn't it going to the forest? If we are referring to an animal, let's say tiger, then the sentence will be, why wasn't tiger going to the forest? Third person plural, why weren't they going to the office? In place of pronoun they, we can mention the names. Why weren't John and Zara going to the office? In the next slide, I will explain another way of making past continuous negative WH question. In this slide, we will discuss a rule two for past continuous negative WH question. As per the rule two, sentence begins with question word or phrase, followed by helping verb, subject, word not, main verb, and question mark. Main verb ing form, helping verb was is applicable for singular and were is applicable for plural. Let's consider the following sentences. First person singular, why was I not going to the office? This sentence starts with question word why, followed by helping verb was, subject I, pessimistic word not, main verb going and question mark at the end. Similarly, first person plural, why were we not going to the office? Second person singular, why were you not going to the office? Second person plural, why were you not going to the office? Third person singular, why was he not going to the office? In this sentence, instead of pronoun he, we can mention the name of the person. Why was John not going to the office? Why was she not going to the office? Let's specify her name in place of pronoun she. Why was Zara not going to the office? Why was it not going to the forest? If we are referring to an animal, let's say tiger, then the sentence will be, Why was tiger not going to the forest? Third person plural, Why were they not going to the office? In place of pronoun they, we can mention the names. Why were John and Zara not going to the office? In the next slide, I will compare rule one and two with examples. Examples of past continuous negative WH question. Why? Wasn't I drinking five liter of water daily? This sentence starts with question word why, followed by contraction wasn't, subject I, main verb drinking, and question mark at the end. Same message can be conveyed by using rule two. Why was I not drinking? five liter of water daily. If we use full form, then pessimistic word not is placed before the main verb. Similarly, why weren't we taking medicine? Why were we not taking medicine? Why weren't you exercising? Why were you not exercising? Why wasn't he eating nutritious food? Why was he not eating nutritious food? Why wasn't it attacking animals in the forest? Why was it not attacking animals in the forest? 
why weren't they visiting america why were they not visiting america why wasn't john playing football match why was john not playing football match why wasn't zara acting in hollywood films why was zara not acting in hollywood films why weren't john and zara traveling why were john and zara not traveling thanks for watching the video subscribe to this channel like and share our videos provide your comments followers and practice to enhance your english fluency